Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Moment Foundation. And the topic of this video is when the heavens bow to the ones chosen vessels for the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, when I saw this image, the Lord gave me immediately a flash vision. And in that flash vision, I saw on the left side a, a large group of harvest workers, all in line, standing ready to enter the fields. And on the other side, on the right side, <coughs> sorry, on the right side, I saw powerful warriors all in their shiny armor of God with a sword drawn, ready to take the battle to the gates. And in front of them, I saw this image, not what is written on it, but the image. I saw the heaven opened and I saw an angel standing in front of that staircase and he was bowing down, bowing down to the ones that are chosen for such a time as this. And then the Lord said, this has all to do also with the rejoicing over your name, when your name is registered as a powerful warrior, when the heavens will acknowledge that you will stay, that you will stand, that you will walk as an image of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your bridegroom on earth. The harvest is such an important part of the masterpiece of the end times. And the heavens will acknowledge each and every person who is willing to commit him or herself for the cause. The fields are huge and the harvest is big, but the workers are few. That is written in the scripture. So if a harvest worker has come in, or a powerful warrior of the church of Ephesus, then the heaven is rejoicing and acknowledge your choice by bowing down. That is not the bow, of course, that an angel is due before the Lord, or before Christ, or before the Holy Spirit, no, or before the throne, no. That is just an acknowledgement for your choice. because now you will step forward in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. What does it mean? Change, transformation, to enter your destiny and to bring in a harvest. There will be a kind of Pentecostal outpouring on the 50th day, so that everyone has the same knowledge and wisdom, and that all the harvest workers can rely on one another, that the warriors can rely on the warriors that standing to the right and to the left, that everyone is prepared in perfection for this wonderful masterpiece of the end times of the Father. And you are in your destiny here on earth, are so more important than you believe. And the heaven acknowledge it with the angels and the saints bowing down to the chosen vessels for such a time as this. And the heaven is rejoicing over every name that is registered as a powerful warrior. Brothers and sisters, if you have not yet registered as a powerful warrior, the links are in the first pin comment. Go there, be part of it. Also fill the war chest. How can an army go to war if the, the war chest is not filled? All this will be done in a very short period. The Lord will send people to do it and it will be filled. But you can be part of it. Step forward now. Be part of the watchers. And also step up for the safe havens. Very important. These places could be your life savers in the second half of the seal tribulation. Therefore, you should step forward and support them. They could be the only wall that is between you and the Antichrist. If the Lord guides you in the midst of seals, 
to such a place. Then hurry up. Don't waste any time. Don't look back. Go right to it. Because the minions of the Antichrist might be right on your heels. It is very important to build the safe haven and to start to build them now. Because the time is short. Two and a half to three years of harvest, not much longer than that. Then Antichrist will be in full power. And that means, brothers and sisters, that means that the persecution of the Christian and also the harvest workers will begin. So it is a time to bring the harvest in, to protect it. The Lord has promised over every dwelling place of Zion to put a covering and a hedge of protection around them. This is the reason why I personally know that I am charged to build one. There are others who are also in charge of building them. And we need to support them wherever we can. Because it's for our own good, for our own destiny, for our own safety, so that we will be standing alive at the base of Mount Zion and not to be a martyr who has died for the faith. So it is important, this too, project where you are called into action now. It is so important and you see all the prophecies and visions that are brought forth from the Lord now and the dreams about you need to choose now to stay or to go and when you stay you will be receiving all the power from on high. All this is encouragement from the Lord and saying this is the moment you must decide now. So if your name is not yet written in the registry of warriors, then follow that link to the war chest and send me the sentence that I can put your name down and place your name before the throne of God. So that you are also part of this group of harvest workers and warriors. That group where the angel will bow, bow, will, where the angel will bow to in admiration not in worship, in admiration, in saying, look at these people. They are so blessed to be part of this. And they have chosen to stay for the kingdom. That was a flesh vision of the Lord. And like all visions from the Lord, they are highly important. And you have to search your own life and your own destiny and see if you want to be a harvest worker, a powerful warrior, step forward now and support also the safe haven. It is important. It could be your life-saving place in the middle of seals. You are called into action now. We are in a new season. We are in the 2 to 2 season. And more and more action is required. The ones, the people that were once hidden are coming into the light now. It is now the time to start to bring forth the fruits. It is now the time to enter the fields. Now the time to stand on the battlefields. And the chosen vessels for such a time as they will walk in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Beginning with the 40 days with Jesus, the 50th day a kind of Pentecostal outpouring, and then the harvest and the battles will begin. All this is decreed and declared and will come to pass. And I promise you, brothers and sisters, when you stay and stand for the kingdom, there will be rewards. But before that, you will walk under an open heaven, and signs, wonders and miracles will follow you every day. So be a warrior, be a harvest worker, step forward, acknowledge it before the throne, sign up, be part of the war chest, and also help building the safe haven. It is important for, for us all and for the harvest that nobody who was taken out from the enemy will get lost again. But that the, that the harvest that will be taken into the barn of the Lord will be protected until the time when the angels will come to carry us to the base of Mount Zion and the rapture of the church will take place at the sixth seal. Remember, 
you have a great responsibility when you choose to stay. But I know that the Lord has predestined many of you to stand, many of you to fight, many of you to bring in the, the harvest. And you were prepared over many years very well. And the ones who are not yet prepared will be prepared with this Pentecostal outpouring. It will come to pass. And you see more and more dreams and visions and it's all fitting into the time. That is time now to step forward. Time now to be seen. Time now to to act in unity together. Time now to build the safe haven. And time now to put your name down before the throne as a powerful warrior. Follow the links, be part of it, fill the war chest and support the building of the safe havens. Brothers and sisters, I hope that this flash vision that the Lord has given me immediately when I saw this image helped you in your decision. It's a time now. Every day we are coming closer to the Maker event. Every day we are coming closer into our destiny. Remember, the, from yesterday is a vision. I am just waiting in the elevator now for this one person. Then everything will start and Jesus will be here for 40 days. All this is shown by the Kingdom, by the Holy Spirit, for a purpose. Get ready. Time is no more. It can happen any moment now. Even as short as the 2nd of February, it can begin with the 40 days, or the 4th of February, it can begin. So the time is short, step forward, be part of it all. This is a moment when you need to decide to give it, to bring it all in or to leave. If you are accounted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. This is not a word for the people who are in the world, Babylon and the churches. This is for the chosen and selected vessels for such a time as this. When the heaven bows to the ones, the chosen vessels for the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.